Welcome to Sage Audio. Today we're covering how to make airy vocals, but first, if you have a mix that you need mastered, send it to us to receive a free mastered sample of it with the link in the description. What are the air frequencies? Air frequencies are typically located above 12 kilohertz. They're difficult for us to hear, but have a very pleasant effect when they are audible. The easiest way to create an airy vocal is by using a parametric EQ, creating a shelf filter with a high Q to amplify 12 kilohertz and above. So let's take a listen and notice how amplifying this range is the foundation of creating an airy vocal. Tell me how you feel. Is it real? I don't want to overthink. Is it all for show? I don't know. Feeling like I'm on the brink. Airy vocals with reverb. If our reverb lets us equalize the reflections, then we can isolate them to above 12 kilohertz, meaning we'll amplify the air of the vocal and extend it depending on the reverb length. Use a short pre-delay, and if available, emphasize the high frequencies of the reflections. These settings are a good start, with which you can really begin to dial in the timbre of the reverb and air with other parameters. Let's take a listen and notice how this adds air and gives the vocal a unique quality. Tell me how you feel. Is it real? I don't want to overthink. Is it all for show? I don't know. Feeling like I'm on the brink. If you're enjoying the video, hit the like button. It helps us bring you more videos. Parallel crisp and airy vocals. Crisp and airy vocals is a popular combination in hip hop and pop. To create it, use Ascend and On That Bus. Start with a linear phase EQ that isolates the highs. Then heavily compress the signal and use the channel fader to blend in the effect. For a crisper sound, include more of 8 to 10 kilohertz and increase the amount of compression. For an airier sound, isolate 12 kilohertz and above and use a little less compression. Let's take a listen to it. Tell me how you feel. Is it real? I don't want to overthink. Is it all for show? I don't know. Feeling like I'm on the brink. Using dedicated air EQs. Some EQs include dedicated air bands. For example, the Mag EQ4 has an air band that extends to 40 kilohertz. Odds are though, your vocal doesn't occupy these frequencies. So keep in mind that a filter set this high will really only affect 20 kilohertz and below, just to varying degrees. Typically speaking, if you want the effect to be subtler, set the center frequency higher. Let's take a listen and notice how less of our highs are amplified the higher we set the air band's center frequency. Tell me how you feel. Is it real? I don't want to overthink. Is it all for show? I don't know. Feeling like I'm on the brink. Only a small percentage of people that watch our videos are subscribed, so if you're enjoying the video, consider subscribing. It's free, and you can always change your mind. Airy vocals and oversampling. If you're running a 44.1 kHz session, then the highest supported frequency is 22,050 Hz. Since some bands go above this mark, it might be a good idea to use oversampling. Granted, most EQs can't create harmonics that go above this cutoff frequency, but the effect could exacerbate aliasing distortion. If we're running this EQ into a heavy saturator, I could definitely see this becoming an issue. So let's try this and use no oversampling and then oversampling on the saturator. Tell me how you feel. Is it real? I don't want to overthink. Is it all for show? I don't know. Feeling like I'm on the brink. Upward compression air. Similar to our crisp and airy trick in chapter three, we're going to set up a send and on its bus, use a linear phase EQ with which we'll isolate the highest frequencies. I'll then use an upward compressor, like the MV2, to capture, compress, and amplify these frequencies. I'll do this pretty heavily and then blend the effect in with the original signal via the bus's channel fader. Let's take a listen and consider how this method offers a unique timbre. Tell me how you feel. Is it real? I don't want to overthink. Is it all for show? I don't know. Feeling like I'm on the brink. Dynamic airy vocals. Using the same setup as the last chapter, let's isolate the highs with a linear phase EQ. Then, we'll insert a gate to attenuate this range whenever it falls below a set threshold. After this, you could add some compression, reverb, or whatever you want to dynamically affect this range. I like the effect with reverb since it creates a really unique effect in which reverb is only added at specific points. 
Let's take a listen with this reverb added after the gate. Tell me how you feel. Is it real? I don't want to overthink. Is it all for show? I don't know. Feeling like I'm on the brink. If you're enjoying the channel, join the community with the link in the description. DSing and airy vocals. If your processing is going to amplify 5 kilohertz to 12 kilohertz, you're going to want to add a deesser prior to amplifying your air frequencies. Since some air bands don't let you isolate the amplification to above 12 kilohertz, you may also unintentionally amplify harsh S sounds. So let's take a listen as we amplify the air frequencies aggressively and in a way that also affects sibilance. Then enable a deesser inserted prior to the EQ and observe the difference. Tell me how you feel. Is it real? I don't want to overthink. Tell me how you feel. Is it real? I don't want to overthink. Best BGV type for an airy sound. This is slightly random and more geared towards producers, but I've noticed that certain BGVs take really well to creating an airy sound. Mainly a falsetto, ooh or ah is going to help significantly if you want an overall airy vocal sound. If processed, the effect is even stronger. So let's perform some of the processing that we've covered so far, but the falsetto BGVs and notice the overall increase in air. Tell me how you feel. Is it real? I don't want to overthink. Is it all for show? I don't know. Feeling like I'm on the brink. Avoiding multiband saturation for an airy sound. Although you could use a multiband saturator to create an airy sound by saturating high frequencies, you'll likely cause aliasing distortion by generating harmonics that go above the highest supported frequency. That said, it's best to avoid it, but if you do use it, enable oversampling. Let's listen to saturation on the highs and notice how it amplifies a high range, but has a timbre that doesn't always create an airy sound. Tell me how you feel. Is it real? I don't want to overthink. Is it all for show? I don't know. Feeling like I'm on the brink. Avoiding multiband compression for an airy sound. Multiband compression can be used to amplify air frequencies via attenuation, then using makeup gain, but it has the potential to cause issues. Compression with a quick attack and quick release will cause harmonic distortion that, like high frequency saturation, can result in aliasing distortion and a harsh sound. If you do choose to use it for this purpose, set the attack above 5 milliseconds and the release above that as well. Let's take a listen to the effect with two quick of settings and then with settings that I recommended, and keep in mind that the difference is likely going to be subtle. Tell me how you feel. Is it real? I don't want to overthink. Is it all for show? I don't know. Feeling like I'm on the brink. If you have a mix that you need mastered, send it to us to receive a free mastered sample of it with the link in the description. Thank you so much for watching.